What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and today is another super productive day. Why you're probably thinking, because I've got a business meeting, I've got a photo shoot later I'm going to go to, and that's a bit sketchy. Some of the locations i got planned, I haven't really planned out how I'm going to do it yet. I haven't really planned out how I'm going to get in the location. So I'm going to take you all along on that journey. Hopefully we can figure it all out together. But if you didn't see my last video, I actually did a day in a life where I, I showed you guys my realistic day-to-day -day life and I came across something really interesting. Quote a clip. So I was just passing through like a community centre. I just see the lights run it's not usually the way it should be I don't know if you're supposed to go in here or not there's a vending machine here but there's not really much in it so it's just an old community center when i was younger but i don't really know if you're supposed to be in it right through it's just a bunch of hallways there's nothing really in there don't really want to see it you can see it all from the outside there's nothing in there Oh, this is turned off again. So yeah, I'm still really yet to figure out what that was all about. Whether it's like I was allowed in there, if it's supposed to be open, if someone left it unattended. Like I was speaking to a few people, we couldn't come to a conclusion. I'm curious. I'm gonna go figure it out and I'm gonna go back tonight and try again. If it's open, I'm actually gonna explore all the building. But first of all, guys, I gotta get myself some breakfast. I'm trying to be healthy these days. I'm trying to stop the cereals, stop this, stop that. Let's eat something healthy. What do I even have to eat? I hate it. I hate trying to think of solutions all the time. Get myself a microwavable dish. Oh, shit. Get myself a microwavable dish. I get myself some porridge. I'm trying to be a healthy boy. God, these cinematics are so hard to do one handed. Oh, no, I messed up severely to the point where, yeah, it's a bit too thick. So I'm going to have to add some more milk to this real quick. Not to worry. I ran out of milk right here, so I had to go get another one real quick. But it definitely needs some more. Oh, my days. Porridge ASMR right now. Stir, stir. Okay, we're good. That will do. So now it's all ready. I'm about to enjoy my porridge. <laughs> Just kidding, with the power of editing, I have eaten all of it, I'm sorry. Was it nice? Yeah, it actually pretty much was. I like golden syrup, I like porridge. Probably isn't the healthiest of options. You wanna be really healthy, maybe go for plain oats, but I love the taste of this. It's so good. So will I change it? No, we're conquering the world one step at a time. I'm a motivational speaker, my second job, my day job, you know, doing a few other things, running some errands. My second night job is motivational speaker. You don't believe me. Oh no, that was a terrible idea. Luckily I didn't crack my phone. Why do I think of these stupid, stupid ideas? Oh, why do I think of these terrible ideas? I'm actually sorry, I didn't mean to hit my phone. I apologize in advance, please. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Pulled up at location number one. It's a long walk. I've got to walk like 15, 20 minutes to get there. And I've got to set it up. I'm on my own, by the way. This is going to be so much more difficult. I really should have got like a photographer or someone to help me set it up, take some pictures. But with me being an idiot, I thought, oh, I could do it solo. I don't think about these things whatsoever. And it screwed me over. No! Anyway, let's just get on with this. Just saw a squirrel around here. Show yourself. I see you, squirrel. I will hunt you. Nah, I'm just kidding. I I like squirrels. Squirrel love. Just trying to find a decent location right now. And jeez, some Bear grills type stuff right here. Survival experts. Like, we don't need the survival guys on YouTube to watch, to share, to subscribe to. Look at this. Okay. It's pretty sick, that is. Let's go inside. I reckon I'll keep you... Ah, my hat. I reckon I'll keep you nice and warm overnight. It does the job perfectly. Got like a log fire right here too. I think we're set. I think we're set, boys. It's actually quite nostalgic for me because when I was younger, I used to build camps here all the time. I've actually got some evidence to prove that right here, literally in this exact location. Like, you couldn't write this. We try to do better than this sort of stuff. We would go above and beyond. We would try different things. We'd actually get hammers, nails, and try to make a house, pretty much. It never actually ended up happening. But we tried our best. We tried our best. Got the camp right there. And this is where we built it. Right here. These nails is where we used to go. One, two, three. Like we were terrible with nails. We had no idea what we were doing, okay? Essentially, what we try to do is, is this tree here, these ones here, and this one. In shape of a sort of a square or rectangle, we try to build a house. You'll find you know sticks and logs that will go across and we try and nail them all in you know your boy of 14 years old is a survival expert these things are amateur no, actually i fully respect it props to the little kids that made that whoever you are congratulations but we were above we were little architects and we tried making full-on houses and it didn't work we're approaching location now nearly there i can't have a plan i can't have a solution to do this solo like i said usually i have people but today i thought oh it's a pretty easy shoot it's pretty easy i'll be able to do it by myself no i am always wrong every time worst thing about walking is when you're walking you're quite a fast walker and you're about to catch people up the worst thing is really awkward too because you don't really want to walk past them i'll show you how to do it properly <laughs> Yeah. 
This is a bit sketchy. I don't know how I'm going to do this or even where I'm going to go for the picture. Oh, no, no, no. Because usually you can step all the way down here, but the water's just completely got rid of the footpath, so I actually don't know what I'm going to do now. Slight problem. I actually have no idea what I'm going to do. Ah, that was a massive fail. There's like no way I've circled the whole place. I literally can't find anywhere to get a shot. Whilst I'm here, at least one thing would cheer me up. Bubbles. They can make you happy anytime, any day. I'm getting out of it. They didn't cheer me up one bit. Well, that went horribly wrong, but to be honest, I'm not that bothered. It was bad preparation. It was the most important thing on my agenda right now. So I'm going to recoup, reorganize, and get it right next time around. You know, think positively. But it's now dark outside. I think I'm going to go check out that community center to see if it's still open, to see if it was all luck yesterday. And if it is open, to explore a little bit more. So I'm going to get investigating to see what the situation is. Well, as you can see, guys, there's people here today, so that's completely ruined my plans again. Why is nothing going my way? But I'm going to go in the entrance anyway. I want to see what people are saying. There's something going on. What are they doing? But it sounds like a meeting or something just going on in there. I have literally no idea what they're up to. Damn it, I wanted to go in as well, but it's actually quite late. Fat people are here. I have no idea why. Literally nothing's going right. The photo shoot went wrong. I can't even go and explore this. That's also gone wrong. We had days like that. It's all good. But the main thing is, the questions that I had, is this place open? Can you just roam in and out? And to be honest, I think I can answer that now. And it's definitely no. I think I'm putting someone's job on the line. Someone's definitely made a mistake. Forgot to lock the place up. And they just got unlucky that good old Rets have entered the building. Anyway, I think there's only one thing I can really do now. Because there's nothing else to do here. And that's just to go home. So, let's go.